defrosting this windshield and it's March 30th or March 23rd, 2020. I've been defrosting this thing for about 15 minutes now because I'm too lazy to, to get out there with my uh, snow shovel deal or snow remover. So we're just gonna wait until, uh, let's just pull up here a little bit. I can't even see anything. I'm just gonna pull back here for a second. Hit the brakes like that, maybe that'll help. <laughs> Seriously, we're gonna do this the old gangster way. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna forward, hit the brakes, Let's see if we can, if anything will happen. No, but at least we can see through right there. So I think we're pretty good to go. Oh. <laughs> That was sick. That was sick, dog. That was sick, dog. All right, so we are uh, we're going to make, uh, going to work. So, oh, snap. Douchebag. That neighbor right there is such a douchebag. I want to break his face. guy is just a deadbeat father just the worst father an alcoholic that kid has never had any friends over to that house you never see that kid playing outside except very very rarely like like dude just horrible parenting you know? just horrible parenting but who am i to talk about other people's parenting to be quite honest you know what i flee this one i, I can't be going this way i need to go on this way i'll oh, buy it sorry about the uh the windshield, but we're trying to yeah, do something about it. Hit the brakes again, maybe get some more snow coming off the roof. Okay. Yeah, woohoo! Look at all this 8 to 12 inches of snow, guys. I'm not happy camper. I'm not a happy camper. So it's 37 degrees. I don't know if you got there. Yeah, 37 degrees, and uh, yeah, we're supposed to get a little more snow this afternoon, but it's not going to be much. This is just a joke, man. Except for, as I said, we got a good amount of rain last night, which is awesome for the lake. So that's exciting. side of the mountains over there they got a good amount of snow up top which is usually not as uh you know it's it's a little bit rare for them to get as much snow as we got over here however what i'm pointing at is an elevation that's pretty uh, uh not a thousand feet up so 
I guess that justifies it and rationalizes why they're getting more snow. Big Bear City. Give me a second. I need to see the address. I guess any snow looks nice, but it's just nice when everything's just completely covered. You can't see any of the dirt, any of the rocks, any of the street. Um, just, just a, just a white winterland. She had a nice little, uh, fuck it, do she? Here's the village. Here's the village to the right here. Yeah? Hello, Mr. Village. It did start off really great. I mean, it was, and it wasn't even winter time yet. Our, our season, our rainy season, our snowy rainy season started off beautifully. Don't quote me on it, but I believe October 1st is the start of uh, our rainy season. Or the beginning of when stuff can happen. Guys, I gotta turn it off for a sec. the temperature uh, a lot of this new snow is going to be completely gone shortly oh went to right back down to 39 you guys can even see that I don't know if you can. yeah 39 152 p.m Yeah, so the one store you don't want to shop up here at, guys, is Mountain Witch Tea Company, the old country store. 
It's right next to the bowling barn. Um, I, 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 I mean, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's nothing special. And you'll probably not be too, uh, too stoked. Not really the, uh, greatest place, I believe, to represent Big Bear. But I guess, uh, yeah, there, there's just, there's just so many other places up here without extraordinarily pompous and even worse, like, these people are just sociopaths, man. In a big, big, big way. It's just crazy. Um, and, and he's an alcoholic, just deadbeat father. I just don't like associating with those type of people. At first, I was friends with them until, uh, you know, I got to know them. And the guy's a drunk, as I said, deadbeat father. Just a piece of shit. Excuse my language. I don't like those type of people. You gotta take care of your kids and give your kids a good life. But anyway, enough about that. We are headed on uh, to the next stop after this. In one mile, turn right onto Division Drive. the light, turn right onto Division Drive, then turn left onto Sugarloaf Boulevard. Alright guys, I'm shutting her down for a second. Peace out for a moment. Hey, let me ask you, Brian. Dude, what the fuck? happen with my friend. I keep on forgetting to turn the damn thing back on after every uh, business affair. So... Must have been eight inches of invisible snow. That's what it was. That's what it is, guys. We got eight inches, but it's just invisible. You can't see it. <laughs> huh. So... 
if any of you need cannabis, don't go to that dispensary. Just the just awful product and way overpriced because they know people don't really have anywhere else to go up here. And I know for a fact that place pays less than a G a unit because I used to grow. And uh, when I um, when I would take them my my first good harvest to see um, what they would give me per unit, um, it's like less than a thousand dollars. And then they sell it for like forty five a skater. I just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. But those kind of people eventually, uh, karma comes back to them. So. As I said, if you guys want the dank, and I'm talking the dank, when you get up here, hit me up, and I know the right guy. Uh, he's my best friend. And uh, I promise you, he would give you my prices, and it's way better product than Jaw. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway. <laughs> Making it through all this snow. <laughs> and so once again, well, if the resorts were not closed right now because of this uh, overhyped coronavirus and overly politicized coronavirus, oh, we hate Trump. So uh, um, let's just try to do, let's continue to try to do whatever we can to get him out of office instead of actually doing something for the American people. So it's just a bunch of hyperbole, a bunch of BS. Um, so let's see here. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I forgot what I was to say. <laughs> Hate one man more than you love this country. these Californians, man, who uh, have no, uh, or a lot of them don't have guns because they're just ignorant and don't realize what history is all about and how we wouldn't be free if we didn't, you know, stand up and flex our rights against the British, or just, well, they weren't our rights yet, but, um, you know, we did what we had to do and that was our only way out, so my whole thing is all these people buying all this toilet paper and all the food at these grocery stores and everything for when uh, things, well, they're not going to get bad because as I said, it's just a bunch of hyperbole. But um, once, uh, if something ever does go bad, the way I look at it is all these people are just holding all the stuff for me because I've got all my guns. I'm just going to go over there and be like, give me that stuff. It's not, <laughs> you know, so all these people are just holding on to it for me and all the other people that they've been talking smack about and running their mouths about.
So thank you guys for buying all the toilet paper and paper towels because uh, if it becomes a serious situation, I'll be coming to get it. Just kidding. <laughs> it's an Oscar winning performance right there. Call me OJ Simpson. All right, let's see here. Now, I thought I had to go do something. I thought I did. Whatever it is, I forgot. But anyway, you guys, I hope all of you are, uh, you know, not too stressed out about all that's going on. You know, if you come to the the realization that uh, if if Mr. Donald Trump wasn't in, in the office, um, it wouldn't be this overblown but as I said anything they can do to get this guy out of office I mean they will try anything they don't give a shit about the American people they'll just try anything to get this guy out of office it's hilarious to me but anyway that's just how our country works it goes both ways so <laughs> you know what I'm saying like when one person's in office other people hate when one person's in office other people hate so it is what it is. I just wish we could all just uh, support whoever's in office, even if we don't like people. But anyway, um, you guys, peace out. This is really sad. There's just no snow. I love you. Oh. Tired. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. When it starts snowing later, I'll, I will uh, upload a video.